that's what we're getting ready to take a ride on. Bring your skis. Wait, we don't have uh, skiing here. At least not outside. We do have an inside skiing facility that you can check out. That will be on the next episode. But for now, we are going to take you across the Yangtze River on the Yangtze River Cableway. Welcome to Exploring Chongqing with Patrick Freeman, me, your uh, embedded travel host. I have been invited by Allison with I Chongqing, which is a media company here in Chongqing, to promote tourism. They've invited me to go on the cable car with them across the Yangtze River, and I can't tell you how excited I am about this, because in the past, uh, the time that I tried to go, which was in Spring Festival, the line was like two hours long. Today, it looks really short, of course, we've got backstage passes. I think we're gonna be able to uh, kind of jump ahead of the line, get some nice shots, and then jump on the cable car. So, uh, Allison, yes. what are you looking forward to on this ride? On this ride? Yes. Maybe the beautiful scenery on the riverbanks. Uh, the beautiful scenery in the riverbanks. Well, yes. I, I hear that we're gonna get a lot of that. So, yes. thank you all so much for inviting me out. And hope you guys enjoy this short episode. We'll see you soon. So one of the cool things about uh, being with some government employees, uh, Ai Chongqing is owned uh, by the government and it's a media distribution company, is uh, we get lots of backstage passes. So we got to jump ahead of the line and now we are waiting for the cable car to uh, pick us up and take us to the other side of the river. to come visit here the entire round trip is about 30 yuan uh, it takes about five to six minutes to get across and obviously five six minutes to get back so it's gonna be a rather short trip there are tons of things to do on this side of town which we are on the downside or on the uh, uh, we are in downtown uh, Chongqing uh, as you can see behind me there's a bridge that you can actually cross get some great shots if you're a photographer or a videographer also in downtown uh, Jiafang Bay has tons of restaurants, shops, uh, hotels. Uh, there's the Westin on this side of town. A couple of other really nice hotels. Uh, there's the, also the monument, the World War II monument that you can check out and that's just a short cab ride from here. You could probably walk it, but uh, depending on the day like this, uh, you could possibly get some rain. So you might want to take a cab to, uh, to get to the monument, but that's a great place to check out. Just around the monument itself, the World War II monument, is a huge shopping mall. So, tons to do. Uh, you could spend pretty much 
an entire day downtown checking out all the all the sightings. I would highly recommend that you come at night. Have you been on this at night yet? No. All right. So how Never. late? How late is this cable car open till? Uh, maybe half past ten. Half PM. past ten. Okay. Uh -huh. So about ten thirty. Uh, this is when you want to take it. I will forewarn you though. On both sides, we're on the which side are we on now? Um, the the Jiang. North North entrance. We're on the north entrance side. That cable car is going to the, the south entrance side, which is on the Nanan side. Um, I believe either side at night is gonna be relatively busy. So one of the ways that you can actually kind of jump ahead of the line is go online mm -hmm. and sign up. As long as you sign on two hours before the cable car leaves, you can buy your tickets, show up early, and yes. you can, can you miss the line if you buy your tickets on, online? Uh, yes, um, you have to book the tickets at least two hours. In two hours advance. early. So, yes. so book the tickets two hours in advance. If you're a photographer, you definitely want to take this because there's you're going to get some great shots. And again, especially at night. If you go at night, uh, it goes across. Uh, and I'm going to show you some shots here. We're going to edit in some shots. But as you go across, you'll be able to see all of downtown Chongqing lit up and it is it's lit up like like fireworks it's a it's a beautiful sight to see it's very amazing yes very amazing uh, i would hate to be the person that deals with the electricity bill <laughs> Well, we made it to the other side, right? Yes. 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 We didn't so fall into the water. We made it to the other side of the Yangtze River. So we are on the south side of the river in the Nanan district. And you can just see the spectacular views during the day. It's a little bit hazy today here in Chongqing. Again, if you're a videographer, photographer, uh, you can just imagine what it looks like uh, at night. And the buildings aren't just lit up. They are lit up like billboards like Las Vegas uh, again it's one of the most spectacular views that you can get and here's the cable car returning to the other side beautiful shots though beautiful shots okay right, so one of my goals uh, as far as my next episode or maybe upcoming episode is to go visit that building that's being built there I don't know if you can tell but uh, it's got a curved facade to it. I want to check it out. Uh, again, it's being built. Uh, there's no tenants in there right now. It's an apartment slash uh, business building, and you can buy an apartment there for roughly three million yuan, which is about 450,000 US dollars. That's approximate. But that is uh, a place that I want to check out, get the hard hat going, and uh, go to the very top. There's a whole nice uh, observatory that goes across uh, those three or four buildings and connects them up on about uh, probably the 50th floor. So 
Uh, stay tuned for that ex- episode. The camera crew from I Chong Ching. These people rock. Yeah! Bon Jovi! Yeah! Bon Jovi, they rock! <laughs>